Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I am gonna cover a number of different websites that you can use to get models for your CNC and make products and projects with them. So undoubtedly, if you have used a search engine looking for models on the internet, it has led you to Thingiverse. And Thingiverse is kind of the granddaddy of all the model websites. It was essentially the first one that came on the market and it certainly has the widest variety and the largest number of models that are available for doing 3D modeling as well as uh, 3D printing. Over the years, some other websites have popped up that offer similar capabilities as Thingiverse, although the number of models that they offer is generally much more limited than what Thingiverse has. Additionally, there are some websites from the CAD manufacturers that offer some modeling choices as well. Autodesk, as well as SketchUp and SketchFab offer some modeling sites. So I will link to those down below in the descriptions if you're interested in visiting some of them. All of these sites that I just mentioned have one common attribute, and that is generally that they offer their models in STL format. STL stands for stereolithography, and it was designed in the 80s predominantly for doing 3D modeling and is almost exclusively targeted towards 3D printing. STL differs from some of the traditional CAD formats in that the models themselves are comprised of little triangles and vertices. And so you really do need something like a slicer to make sense of these models, whereas traditional CAD formats are really meant for solid modeling, whereas the uh, STL is a mesh-based modeling solution. So all of this might lead you to ask, well, where would you get some models that are most appropriately used for solid modeling that you could potentially use for your CNC? Well, there's a couple different options and I'm gonna run through them quickly here. And so first, right off the bat, the place that I go to for pretty much all of my 3D models is GrabCAD. GrabCAD is a website that offers models in a variety of different formats, sometime in STL, but also in other formats such as STEP, which is specifically designed to retain that geometry that you can use in your CAD program and then turn around and create tool pass out of. GrabCAD also does have the ability to take models in a variety of different formats and translate them into other formats. So this is particularly useful if you're using the free version of Fusion 360 that no longer allows you to import models from SolidWorks. So in GrabCAD, you can actually take a SolidWorks model, turn it into a traditional or a more open format called STEP, and that'll allow you to import it into Fusion 360. So that is a really useful technique and if you're interested in the process to do that leave your comments down below and I'll add it to the list of future videos for this site. Now, although GrabCAD does offer models in a variety of different formats, it is not necessarily intended to use those models for a CNC to make CNC products. It is really meant to import and do some 3D modeling to create a larger project. I did find a handful of websites who have projects sort of already there available. So Laguna offers one, which I will link down below, as does CNC Cookbook. Now, Laguna does have pretty good instructions on the website there to really explain how to take your design and turn it into a CAD format that can then turn around and create some G-code with. Now CNC Cookbook on the flip side, generally the, pro the projects are available in PDF form, which is a vector form. So you can import them pretty easily into some of your CAM programs and then create the tool pass from here. However, there are a handful of websites out there that take it just one step further. It really ups the ante a little bit by providing projects that have the tool pass already built. And in some cases, you literally just load the project and you can click go and just run the G code that is provided for you automatically. And so that really is the heart or the essence of this video today to talk about the two primary websites that I found that I actually use for these projects that will really make that barrier entry lower for new CNC users and really up the game for people who are just trying to get into CNC while really creating some, some cool projects. All right, let's go ahead and get on with it. The first website I would like to cover is provided by Inventables. Now, if you are familiar with Inventables, they are the creator of the Shape Oco, and they offer a variety of CNC machines as well as CNC products and materials and a variety of other things. But they also have a tool called Easel, which is a really easy to use CAD and CAM software package that is on the web. Now, I've already created a video about Easel talking about its pros and cons. So if you're interested in that, I will link 
link that above and link that down below. But an offshoot of the Inventables website is a project area that links you directly to pre-existing easel projects. And so why this is important is all the hard work of taking your design, importing it into easel, uh, configuring it on the canvas, and then creating the toolpath is done for you in these pre-made projects. So all you have to really do is go out to the website, find a project that interests you, link to the easel product, and then copy that into your workspace. And then you know, just want to validate your tool pass, make sure that everything's okay, make sure you have the right cutters and all the, all the different configurations are set properly. Export your G-code if you're using Onefinity or simply connect your X-Carve to the easel uh, and click go if you have an X-Carve. All right, so that's really super easy. And generally speaking, these projects have been made by people and contributed to this website. So you know that they're going to work. They're uh, not quite foolproof per se, right? But they are proven. And so it's a really quick way to find really interesting and cool projects. And on the Inventable website, there are a ton of different projects. There are a variety of different categories. There are some things that I've actually posted out there as well that are more uh, ornamental in nature. Um, but if you're looking for things like organizers, or if you're looking for Mother's Day's gifts, or Father's Day's gifts, or you know Valentine's gifts, or things like this, you're going to find a whole host of things out there on the Eventable website. And it just really, really makes it easy to take a concept to turn it into design very quickly. And you do have the opportunity to tweak that design to suit your needs. So if it isn't quite what you want, or if you want to make some changes, or you want to personalize it in some way, you have the opportunity to do that, and it happens very quickly, and it really decreases that kind of design cycle time by getting you up and running very quickly. The second website that I want to cover is called Cut Rocket. Now, this is something that I just recently discovered. It doesn't seem to have a lot of traction in the community, but it's made by Carbide3D, the makers of the new Shape Oco and the Nomad, as well as Carbide Create, the CAD and CAM software that I've also previously covered on this channel. Link above, link below. All right, so what is interesting and where uh, Cut Rocket really kind of steps it up a notch is they have the same sort of project features of Inventables, but they have a downloadable Carbide Create file. So rather than being linked to a project in Easel, you can download the Carbide Create file, you can import it into your program, and then all you have to do again is validate the toolpaths, make sure you have the right bits, and then you're off to the running in terms of getting your G code produced. Now, now, you can also do like you can with Easel, and you can tweak the toolpaths, you can personalize, and you do whatever you want. So if you're one of those people who doesn't like to have all of your files kind of stuck out on the web or have to be online at all time, then the uh, Cut Rocket website, once you download that file, gives you that freedom of moving the file around, putting it on a laptop, putting it on your computer, and working on it offline. So it does give you a little degree of freedom in that regard, which uh, could be a pro or a con, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, but it is a different from Inventables, which is again all online. But nevertheless, both of these websites are incredibly useful because they decrease that barrier to entry. They get you up and running very quickly and they're crowdsourced. They are provided by the community. So you could have some degree of trust that the files are really going to do what you want them to do uh, without a whole a lot of customization necessarily. And more importantly, there are a ton of creative people out there that have a lot of inspirational thoughts and ideas, far more than maybe something that I might come up with. So I love going out there, trolling through the projects, looking at things, just getting ideas for myself, maybe things that I can just use the file from, or just, you know, turn and create a riff on or create some sort of vary on that might be, you know, uh, something that's more personal for me or something I'm personalizing for one of my clients. So again, they're great resources and a great utility for the community. And I I really encourage you to go out and check out both of them, see which one you like, and then kick the tires on some of the projects. And uh, be sure if you do make a project, post to the websites where you say that you created one. Uh, and give yourself some credit. I think it's really awesome. I would like to offer just one major caveat on all of these websites that I've covered today is they are not guaranteed success. It is not a download, click and create model. You really do still need to understand your materials, your bits, the types of tool paths you're doing, your work holding strategies, your machine, how to home, how to zero, all these basics of CNC really are still required. So in that regard, CNC does have a 
slightly higher barrier to entry than something like 3D printing, where a lot of that is kind of abstracted from the end user. But with these websites, you really get closer to that 3D printing model of download, click, and print, which has uh, pr become kind of pervasive in our community today. And again, although CNC is a little bit more complicated, I think you do have a lot more capabilities with CNC machines and the opportunity to create more interesting products than maybe some of the 3D printers offer out there. But it's up to you which one you want to do and how you want to do it. So all of that caveating leads me to the last sort of bonus website that I want to point out today. And again, I haven't seen it get too much traction in the community, but it's something that I think could turn into just a ridiculously important and an amazing resource for anyone who's doing CNC, whether you're a beginner or you're a seasoned pro. And so that is a website called Proven Cut provided by John at NYCNC. So what Proven Cut provides is a set of recipes that are tailored to your machine, to the bit that you're using, and to the material that you're cutting. And so this is really important because it literally takes those parameters and they have proven, <laughs> hence the website name, that this type of operation will work with this material given the machine and the tolerances and the parameters that they've specified. And what is really cool about the website is they offer videos showing you the machine itself with the bit itself cutting the material so that you can see how the machine is cutting. You can hear what it is supposed to sound like under optimal conditions, right? And they also have pictures of the chips that are produced so you can see if you're creating the appropriate size chips. And so as you know, if you don't optimize your feeds and your speeds, your chips might not be optimal, which means your cutter might not be cutting at the most optimal parameters. Now, unlike all of the other websites, this website is not free. However, John does offer a preview mode, which I found pretty powerful. But if you really wanna see all the details and all the ins and outs of the website, you do have to pay. So for hobbyists, it's actually fairly inexpensive, around $49, I think, per year. Uh, for professionals, it's a little bit more expensive, but it also opens up a larger host of machines. So if you're using something like an X-Carve or a, a, a Onefinity, there are things out there that you can use and leverage for that hobbyist entry level position that I think would be useful. Now, the only downside of the website right now is it does not have a lot of material out there for a lot of the hobbyist machines. It really only covers the X-Carve and machines made by Carbide 3D. There's nothing specific to the uh, Onefinity, for example, but you can take those cut parameters, and I feel fairly confident in saying that if it's going to work on an X-Carve, then it will work on the Onefinity pretty much unchanged. But it does give you that opportunity to see that and hear that, more importantly, and then see that outcome. And so it is the most unique website that I found, hands down, to provide the most interesting sort of like, is this what it's really supposed to be doing effect when you're doing the CNC? And so I really wish I had something like that whenever I was starting to know whether or not the cuts that I were making were appropriate because there are many times where I'm like, is it supposed to sound that way? Or is it supposed to perform that way? Well, it kind of gives you some kind of reinforcement uh, that it is or is not supposed to be working that way. So kudos to John, kudos to the website. I encourage you to check it out. I will leave links down below to Proven Cut and all the rest of the websites that I've mentioned in today's video. Well, that was the video. I hoped you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun researching, a lot of fun making, and it really just piqued my interest in so many different things in the CNC community. And it's really exciting to see that kind of crowdsourcing to bring these models together, have people share their projects, have people share their models, have people share their knowledge. It's just really, truly impressive. And the community is just blossoming in such a way that I could have never imagined many, many years ago. Um, you know, the internet is obviously enhancing that, but just having people get together and collaborate, I think is the most important thing to share information, help the new users, bring people along. And you know, there's always something for everyone to learn no matter what your skill level is. So if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, well, I would consider a thumbs up anyway. Tell us why in the comments down below so we can make future videos better. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please consider doing so. That's where I post pictures of projects like this that become future videos. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for getting this far. And don't forget, to be inspired. Being linked to a project in Easel, you can download the Carbide Create, Carbide Create. Over the years, a number of different websites have also popped up that kind of augment what Thingiverse offers. And those include things like Pinshape,
All right. And their variety and the number of websites, no, not the number of websites. <laughs>